welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at word equations. Word equations are used to describe chemical reactions and they're a useful shorthand way for doing this rather than writing it out as a whole sentence. They have a very specific format which you need to follow. Reactants are always on the left hand side of the arrow and products are always on the right. We always put a plus symbol between the different reactants or products and we use an arrow to show that the reactants are becoming the products. So here are three word equations. I want you to try and correct them to show what they should have in terms of the format that's expected. So in this first equation, the mistake that we have here is the equal sign. We never use an equal sign we always use an arrow. The arrow means that hydrochloric acid plus magnesium becomes magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. They're not equal. One thing is becoming the other. Here we have a very long word equation. So we have copper carbonate plus sulfuric acid becomes copper sulfate plus carbon dioxide plus water. However, the carbon dioxide and water are on the left hand side of the arrow. They should be over here. And there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You could either move these completely over to this side, or if you have large handwriting, you can write them out like this. So copper carbonate plus sulfuric acid. So that's your reactants all on the left hand side. Becomes copper sulfate. plus carbon dioxide plus water. So now all of the reactants are on the left and all of the products are on the right. So in this final example, we have commas separating our reactants and products and we have an equal sign. So we should have plus signs between the reactants and between the products and we should have an arrow between the reactants and the products themselves. Word equations need to be written from descriptions of reactions. So here we have a description of a reaction. When ethane is burned in oxygen, carbon dioxide and water are produced. So the first thing we need to do is identify the reactants and the products. The word produced tells us that the things just before it are the products. When ethane is burned in oxygen, implies that they are the reactants. So to write this as a word equation, we would have ethane plus oxygen arrow becomes carbon dioxide plus water. All of the reactants are on the left, all of the products are on the right. Pause the video now and write word equations for each description. Remember to read them carefully. So for the first reaction, we have when sodium hydroxide and ethanoic acid are reacted, so they are our reactants, sodium ethanoate and water are produced. So on the left hand side, we will have sodium hydroxide and ethanoic acid. Then we'll have an arrow and that is producing sodium ethanoate and water. By reacting ethene and bromine, you will produce 1,2-dibromoethane. So by reacting implies that ethene and bromine are the reactants and you will produce 1,2-dibromoethane as our product. So ethene plus bromine arrow 1 2 dibromoethane as the product. Carbon monoxide and water are produced during the incomplete combustion of hexane in a limited supply of oxygen. So carbon monoxide and water are our products. Hexane and oxygen are the reactants. 
So hexane and oxygen will go on the left. We'll have an arrow. We have carbon monoxide plus water being our products. Propyl methanoate is produced when pro propanol and methanoic acid are reacted. Water is also produced in the reaction. So propyl methanoate is one of the products. Propanol and methanoic acid are being reacted and water is also being produced. So our reactants are propanol and methanoic acid. Then we have an arrow. We have propyl methanoate as a product and water as a product also. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.